Hello, current clients, past clients, and future clients. I'm Rebecca Lindquist, the speech and accent coach in the Bay Area, and I'd like to speak specifically to Russian speakers who want to improve how you sound in American English. Many of my Russian clients tell me that people think they're tense, strong, perhaps even aggressive or overbearing. And the person will say, I'm not that way at all. Why do people think that? So some of it might be your voice quality and how you articulate. One thing to think about certainly is the breath. Make sure that you're inhaling and exhaling as you speak. That's true for all non-native speakers, but especially for Russians. If you can make the breath sounds like a little bit longer, extending them with a little bit of intention, connecting them with a vowel. So I'm exaggerating there to show you that a little bit of breath goes a long way to make a sound less strong, less intense. So if you'd like to sound less aggressive, part of it is elongating sounds with breath. It's also important in terms of voice quality not to sound throaty. A couple of things that cause a person to sound throaty, very deep and long and strong in this articulation is not to speak from the back of the mouth. So if you'd like to start speaking more readily from the back of the mouth, start by inhaling and exhaling. (sighs) Connect through your feet, get long in the spine, and start using your chest muscles opening like this. And then speak with the back of the mouth open. Notice how different that is than if I speak from the throat. So when I speak directly from the throat, the sounds are much stronger. And they give an impression of being more aggressive. Whereas when I breathe into the back of the mouth, the sound is much more fluid. Obviously, I'm exaggerating a bit. So I can scale it back. And notice as I do that I'm keeping the good parts of the back of the mouth speech without having to really overdo it. And that's my suggestion to you as a Russian speaker, that you begin by inhaling and exhaling with a little bit of a jaw drop, elongating the vowels and allowing the sounds to soften as you speak from the back of the mouth. If you'd like to learn more about articulation habits that can help Russian speakers, please give me a shout. I'm a coach for speech and accent, and I'd love to work with you.